Nick and I are, are on our way to film a video cooking. But on the way there, I see all these fresh wood chips everywhere. And I'm looking and I'm like, what is that? And so I look at this tree. And when you look at this tree about five feet up, it looks like it's all clawed up to about 12 feet. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? I don't know if you can or not. Let me zoom in. Right there. You see that? What would be clawing that thing at about six feet up? To about 12 feet tall unless lightning struck it <clears throat> is that a possibility did lightning strike it very interesting and then down on the ground here fresh chips everywhere things that make you go hmm place is shrouded in a mist everywhere you look there's a fog I don't know if the fog will lift or not because there's been so much rain lately. Now, that was pretty interesting on the way here. Normally, we just start the video once we get here at camp. But this time, it's like, wow, because those are fresh chips. And maybe maybe y'all will have an idea. Maybe y'all have an idea of what that is. I mean, was it a lightning strike or was something reaching up that high clawing? Because it was chips. It wasn't like splinters. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You ever seen anything like it? No, not, especially not that high up. <laughs> it was bizarre. And I've been to this area about a year ago, and uh, I know it's on high ground because of all the floods. So that's why we came here. So now, <clears throat> whatever that is, get it out of your mind. The, the, the uh, video officially starts. Hey, mm. everybody. Hey, -o. <laughs> and there's Nick's AO. So what we're going to do today, uh, real quick, like if you're watching this, this is being filmed in the middle of February because we had to film a few videos ahead of time because the entire month of March, I'm going to be working 12 hours a day, seven days a week. So fun. If, yeah, fun. So mm -hmm. it's our annual shutdown at the mill I work at. And if I don't get to the comments real fast, it's not like I'm not trying. I'm just, I'll get to them when I can. <laughs> but we had to film some videos ahead of time. So what we're doing today is we are going to make Chef Dave's double bowl cornbread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't that sound good? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, another little treat that I'll mention. It's mainly the idea for me doing the cornbread video. And uh, I think that's in Nick's backpack. So we're going to look at that in a minute. <laughs> So right off the bat, we're going to unpack everything and we're going to go gather up a pile of wood to, you know, get a good fire going because it's pretty dang cold out here. And it's sprinkling. It was not supposed to sprinkle. It was not supposed to rain at all. I don't know. I think that might be just a, from the fog because this is very foggy out. I guess it could be or coming out of the trees maybe because I, yeah. I, I don't know. The fog lifts. I hear it every now and then. Yeah, it picks up. I hope it don't pick up more. But anyway, all right, let's dig through the backpack real here, real quick here and grab us some cutting tools and uh, go uh, procure a pile of wood. All right. Nick's got the heavy backpack today, and I've got the little bit lighter one because I'm the old dude in the crowd. <laughs> all right, let's see. I have, let's go ahead and pull everything out of here. Oh, we're going to need this. A little bag we're going to need this and we're going to need this and i think that's all we're going to need out of mine got any treats oh have we got a treat have oh. we got a treat yeah we're going to need this a little cooler pouch let's see here we got it. yeah that's our that's our water we're just going to pile all this up right here so that we ain't got to dig around axe, axe. that's for you Go ahead and pull it out. Next right. City. Check that out. Yeah. Nick said he doesn't like using a machete. Or he doesn't like wearing a machete, so I brought him an axe. Mm -hmm. A couple of ground pads. Alright, that's all we Still, need out of here. Don't forget your Morris. Yeah, don't forget your Morris. Yeah, I got mine. More more Garberg. Alright, now let's move this to the side. Get your axe. Mm -hmm. Put this over here. Out of the way. 
Now right here on my side, I have a machete, and I'm going to go ahead and take it off my belt. Because I'm going to explain it to you. Nick, are you happy you got an axe? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Alright, there's going to be a little bit of explaining on this axe, right? I mean, this, this machete right here. This is a machete that I bought, and I'd heard of it, and it's called Han Shu Boshing. And it's made by United Cutlery, and I've never liked United Cutlery because they've always been involved in, like, dragons and skulls and flames and samurai stuff. <laughs> I just never was interested in it. But I kept seeing this one, and I kept seeing the shape of it, and I'm like, man, that is a beast of a shape. I love parangs, and I've been looking for stainless steel something for our kayaking trips. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this this winter, and I'm going to practice with it and see if this thing will actually hold up because it's... It's a, a, a hollow ground machete, hollow ground stainless steel machete. So I'm, I want to try that thing out. I, I like the shape of it. But anyway, normally this is like $80, and Christmas time they had it marked down to 40 So how could I turn it down? And then on the sheath, I attached a silky because you never leave home without a silky. <laughs> All right, so we got a machete, we got Nick's axe, and we got a silky. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even going to wear this. I'm just going to, we're going to go gather up some firewood. We're going to get up a pile of firewood and then we're going to be ready to go. You All ready? Right. Yep. This All log right, right here yep. is pretty waterlogged. That machete is doing pretty good. See if I can get this in. That's starting to get solid. Oh, that thing sure does stick in there. <laughs> Golly! Yep. Works like a charm. Nice. That's a lot better. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's weird. It's not sticking as, as bad in that. Oh, that's some good wood right there. I think all that bouncing's not helping. Yeah, that's some pretty good wood. Hmm. It's holding up. I think it's oak. What a clean cut. <laughs> well, it was bouncing. I think a bouncing had a lot to do with it. There's no chips, though. For hollow ground stainless steel, that ain't bad. Fine. Whew. Went right through it like a razor blade. Man, boy, that thing did great. Let's see how it does right here. <clears throat> that is nice. It is. There you go. Oop. A little bit thicker. Yeah, that thing sticks pretty bad. It's a little too sharp. No chips. I think I'm gonna like this thing. That's all right, Nick. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> I think that might be more of that red oak or some kind of oak of some kind. Yeah. That's why we bring that. That's right. Although a saw would be easier, but. Hey, it's an axe. I think I got a nice level spot right here for our fire to be started. So, let's see. Let's put down a couple of logs here. I'm 
now. That's what I got in my pocket. I got a little bit of fat wood here. Let's see. Here it is. All right, I got a couple little pieces of fat wood in here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can feather it a little bit to make it, to make it catch. Can you see that, Nick? Yeah. Right. To make it catch a flame a little better. That's so rosin rich. It's not even staying attached. I'm losing a bunch of it. Let's try this side. I don't want to lose none of this. Set that there. Dang, I lost a bunch of it. Mm. No matter what I do, I always lose them little shavings. All right. Got a big lighter here. Finally. <laughs> no lighter fluid, but a big lighter. Hmm. Just pull the cap off and dump it on. Let that start going. See if I... There we go. Let's zoom in a bunch. All right. See it on the viewfinder at least. All right, I'm gonna hold this straight up until I can't hold it no more. You can hear it. Hear it starting to sizzle. All right, so that will be the basis for my fire. And I'm going to put yet a third one in here. Here, it's, it's that black smoke coming off at night. Yeah. All right, that ought to be pretty good now. So what I'll do now, let's get some of this over here. I'm just gonna start setting this stuff on. Hopefully not touching the fat wood. You hear them crows going crazy? Yeah. I wonder if this grass is dry. There's little shavings, little little shreds of grass everywhere. <clears throat> Most everything out here is really wet. Well yeah, I think we'll have this thing going here in a minute. That's the beauty of fat woods. You can just pile stuff all over it and it'll just keep on a burning. Mm -hmm. Even if everything's wet, it'll eventually dry it all out. Looks like it's getting somewhere. See that inner core right there is just taking off now. And I'm just piling stuff all around it until I get it uh, get it going. I'm going to have a nice bed of coals here in a minute. As everything burns and it's just going to kind of collapse in, 
and uh, we'll be ready to go then. Fixing to fall over, which is okay. I'm gonna lay a couple more big pieces on here so that we're gonna have plenty, plenty to work with. Woo, that fire's getting hot, Nick. Mm -hmm. Hot, hot. <sighs> yeah. We're gonna have a big old mountain of firewood right here going. That way we'll have a good pile of coals. See, that's why I love fat wood is because it just, the fire just kind of comes to life on its own once you start stacking everything up. All right, now, am I too close right here or can you see me over here? I can see you right there. All right, so let's take a peek in this bowl and this bag. All right, what we have here Two bowls, two stainless steel bowls. All right. Load this bag right here. This and this. Now, normally, when you make a cornbread, normally when you make cornbread in a setup like this, what you're going to do is you put cornbread mix in a pie pan of some kind and you put it down in the bottom and you put a lid over it and you set the whole thing in the fire and then you put a fire on the top all right mm -hmm. but what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing and we're going to try to do it with no fire because if you did it with no fire on the top the center wouldn't get done so we're going to try to use a bunt cake pan something i've never tried before and to keep it off the bottom, I'm going to put a pan in there. And see, that'll keep it from touching the sides. Because people that have watched my videos in the past have always heard me say, the process of baking is surrounding with hot air. So that's exactly what we're going to try to do right here. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to set this near the fire. And once that fire falls over, once that fire falls over and start preheating everything, let's see what we got in here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's see what we got in here first. All right, we got a bowl. We have. We got some eggs and some. We got some eggs, milk, and butter. And we have, I think, if I, if I remember to bring it, Famous Dave's Cornbread Mix. <laughs> All right. So let's look in here now. Let's look at this bowl. I hope it's big enough. Let's rip this open. Some of the famous. I think Famous Dave's is a barbecue joint, maybe. I guess because it shows a pig with a bunch of ribs. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be like a cannibal? Yeah, it would. Uh, okay. <laughs> Man, that fire is hot. Okay, All right. I'm gonna go jump in that creek over there. Yeah, we got a creek right behind us to, to back us up. All right, Famous Dave's Cornbread Mix. All right, now normally, like I said, I put a fire on it. I put a fire on it there. But we'll see what happens. All right, you need a third cup of milk, a third cup of water, and one egg. All right, no problem there, so. Let's take this thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little hole right here in the middle. And, where's my thing? Third cup. I think that's a third cup. Yeah, my eyes are getting old. That's a third cup. Third cup of water, third cup of milk, and one egg. All right. That don't seem like much, does it, Nick? No. And I brought another pan for if this takes too long, we can uh, we can uh, cook some eggs. Man, this container, them containers never want to open. All right, so let's put the egg right in here in the middle. 
just like that. Whee. And I don't have any kind of rags or napkins this time for some unknown bizarre reason. That's fine. You got a creek over there you can wash your hands in. Yeah. All right, third cup of water. Let's put that right in the middle. Dang, it does seem like a, a lot of liquid when you put it in there. Hmm. Let's see. And now a third cup of milk. I'll pop that yellow egg right there in the middle first. And then a third cup of milk. We could drink the milk too, Nick. All right. Third cup of milk. I guess that does seem like a good bit right there. Put that in there. I'm gonna rinse that milk out of that thing. I don't like that. That's not good. That's that's gonna be a mess. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we, don't, we don't need a bunch of dried milk all over everything. Oof. Mm. All right. So now let's stir this up. It says stir gently. So, what would stirring gently be? Mm, I don't know. Let's see, stirring gently. I know. How about if I talk to it? Uh, you're special. You're you're a you're special to me, no matter what all of your uh, fellow muffins and cornbread say is. You're special. This is getting weird. It is getting kind of weird, ain't it? All right. I'm gonna stir this up with as little effort as possible. And then we're gonna knock that pan over. Oop. Oh yeah, starting to warm up a little bit. That's what I wanted. I wanted to warm that pan up a little bit so I could rub some butter on it. This is gonna be delicious, Nick. Yum, yum. That is exactly what I say. See if we can get a good look at that right there. I noticed the crows did. I didn't even notice uh, all the crows disappeared. They did, didn't they? I wonder why. I don't know. There's a lot of them over there earlier, but I don't know. Get out. Oh, hang on, zoom down. I'll zoom out. Mmm, <laughs> that does look good. It does, don't it? Alright, now comes the. Oh, the part where we gotta knock the fire over and spread it out. Alright. No, right. wait a minute. Let me put some butter on this first. Yeah, that pan's getting that pan's Oh yeah, getting dang, you forgot the butter. That's the most important part. It is. Oh, I can feel that fire over here. <laughs> oh, it's, that is, that's a hot fire right there. Right, let's rub some butter around in here. Mm -hmm. Just rub that around in there. Now, I've got a smaller pan, but I wanted to use a bigger pan so that this stuff would be thinner. Pour this thing in. Save that stick of butter for a dessert later. <laughs> Will that be your dessert, Nick? Yep. <laughs> oh, this is kind of a messy operation, but put that more back in the shirt. All right. Now I've never had Famous Dave's before, but I've heard a lot about it. Never had the cornbread that's totally named after you? No, never have. I think that's something else. <laughs> cornbread. Are you famous, Dave? I am famous, Dave. Yeah, I am. I am the famous chef, Dave. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, the fire is burning me up. Wow. Get every drop. All right, now here's the thing. Okay, this is this is this is a part of old Dave's way of thinking. All right. If I had a deeper pan, if I had a much deeper pan here, I bet that's gonna burn on the sides. If I had a much deeper pan here, it would take more fire. <laughs> this is that little bit's gonna burn, you know, because it's stuck to the sides. If I had a deeper pan, it would take a little bit longer to. In the pan or all over your gloves? Well, it would take longer to cook. And it, <laughs> oh man! 
All right, so let's knock this fire over and set it on. You gonna kick it? No, I ain't gonna kick it. Well, you should kick it. Now what I gotta do is I gotta try to, I gotta try to make a little hole here. Let's move this stuff over here. I see this was the reason uh, this is the reason here why I wanted this pan on the bottom so that this thing ain't touching the sides oh whew. god it's hot even with these Nomex gloves on it's hot all right now I'm not touching the sides which is a good thing so now what we're going to do is we're going to start <coughs> trapping some hot air and now we wait. That's all there is to it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to move and manip manipulate the fire around a little bit and put some some smaller pieces around it. And then we're just going to wait. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm trying to I'm going to take a look at this and see how it's doing. This thing is so hot. I, I think it's going to do pretty good with no fire on top. Oh, look at all that smoke. Oh, yeah, it's getting done. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that oh, looks good. We ain't got much time, Nick. Oh. Oop, camera's falling. All right. So, no, we ain't got much time, so I got to do one, a couple of other things here. Let's get a couple of logs mm. right here and here. Oh. There we go. Let's grab this one. Put this one here. All right. So what I'm going to do now, real quick, I'm going to grab this pan here and I'm going to kind of preheat it over here. Smoke's killer. Yep. Let's kind of preheat that a little bit so we can put some butter in it. Now, this is the idea behind the video. Oh my eyes. Huh. Oh yeah, smoke's going right into you. Oh. Let me move over here. <laughs> now. Uh, Still kind of cold now the whole idea behind this video is a couple of videos back we did connect a sausage and i told everybody i said it is alabama's greatest gift to the world mm -hmm. <laughs> well i had a commenter remind me it ain't alabama's singular greatest gift it's one of two the other greatest gift is like 80 or 90 years old and it is golden eagle syrup Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Can't remember the place. Uh, Fayette, Alabama. And this is a mixture of corn syrup, cane sugar, molasses, and honey. Yum, yum. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of this golden deliciousness in this little stainless steel thing here. And we're going to put it behind the, beside the fire on a rock mm -hmm. to kind of warm it up. That's good right there. Golden deliciousness. Mmm. So good you could drink it. <laughs> so we're going to put it right there. All right, now the cornbread's almost done, so I'm going to cook four eggs real quick. I'm going to cook four eggs real quick for us. And my, if my timing's right, by the time the four eggs are done, the, uh, the cornbread will be done. So let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. That's full of smoke. Man, it's still coming at me. <laughs> this is terrible. Yep, just right. A little bit of butter. Mmm. Mmm, buttery goodness. Hear that sizzle. Hear that sizzle. All right. So we're going to have, wait a minute. That's good. Whoops. Let's put us four eggs in here. Oh, golly, that's hot when you get past this part. <laughs> You're enjoying that, aren't you? Ain't you, Nick? Yeah. Okay, if you get burned too much, then I got to cook and nobody wants yeah. that. Oh, man, I got shells all in it. Oh, come on. I wish Dad was here. Mm. He'd say be a man, Oof. wouldn't he? Mm-hmm. And he would remember to bring the coffee. 
Yeah, you would have. See, in my guesstimation, I'm assuming that when those get done... I think, oh, the, I I think that's the butter off to the side right there. Because the butter kind of pulled up. Yeah. Oh, Karen's falling. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> it's a bit of a loose mount. I hate to, but I might have to use this cornbread stick here to flip them over. Because... <laughs> I didn't bring another. All right, Nick, you ready? I love these non-stick pans here. I'm trying not to bust them. How's that? Mm -hmm. Maybe that'll get, get cooked nice and slow. Let's feel this. Well, that's plenty warm right here, so that should, that should, I mean, you don't want to, it ain't like you want to really, really heat that up, you know. We just want to make it a little bit warm. Oh, these eggs are going to be good, Nick. All right. Oh, no. I busted oh. yellow. <laughs> I know you don't like that. You like them yellows being whole. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you could use it to flavor the whites. I guess. I don't know. Seems like that yellow cooks a little bit quicker. Boy, that's a, <laughs> a delicious a yummy meal. mess. A yummy mess. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. You're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of milk. Mm-hmm. That's an egg on that one pan. Well, uh, Up there. Where? I that think one. it's butter. Oh. That'll be mine. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's hot! <laughs> it's got gloves on. It doesn't matter. When you get past this this uh, silicone handle, it gets hot. Oh, busted another one. Oh! Oh, come on. Real, come well, on. As long Chef as Dave. Not, as long as they're not scrambled. Chef Dave, what are you doing? I don't know. Hey, how much longer we got on the SD card? Can you read it? Ten minutes. All right. Fine. I think I think we'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I think we will be all right. No, that does not mean the video will be only ten more minutes. It could go on longer. Put this down. There could be twenty minutes of us just eating. People enjoy oh, that's that. nine minutes. All of the smacking. What do you think, Nick? You think these are done? Uh, I don't know. If we cooked, I'd put, if I cooked, we'd probably get food poisoning. I, I think they're getting pretty done. I think the cornbread is fixing to be done. You ready to take it off? All, All right. right. Cut that off and then cut it back on because it makes the editing for me easier when it's shorter soon. All right, Nick, the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Did you burn it? I'm thinking. Well, hold on. Let me go ahead and get this. I think the eggs are done. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're done. I think All right, so. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a yellow. Oh, it, the yellow hair busted. <laughs> I just can't win. Now, let me look even here. I'll give you this one. Gee, thanks. All right, so let's put this over here. I don't really care either way. All right, and we'll get we'll get more in, in a little while if we have to. All right, you ready? Oh, let's see. Yep, perfect, perfect, mm. perfect, mm -hmm. perfect, perfect, perfect. Woo! And see, it all burnt all on the sides where I spilt it everywhere. Looky there. Crispy golden. Uh, I'll just set it right here. I was going to set it on that thing. So let's try this. Are you, have you got a good view over there? Can you see it? Yeah. Right, let's get right here a minute. This is a yummy goodness here. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. 
And always remember, Nick, a true sportsman does everything with. Oh. <laughs> with. Oh yeah, the bottom got burnt. Oh boy. Well. Well. That, no. That yeah. just looks like. Flip Let's, it over. No. It, that's pretty good though. That's just one side. That's that fine. Fire's killing. It's not like the Kaneka sausage. Oh, Flip I know. I, we screwed up on that. Let's just do this. Sugar burning on it. Let's cut the bottom off. Oh, I know. That kind of look like the side. Ah, let's do this. So I didn't scoop the fire out enough. Now look, Nick, that makes an even bigger mess. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just give me my eggs. <laughs> Just a minute. Hold on. Look, I'm gonna give you another one right here. And you can just, <laughs> there you go. man, we have made a mess out of this. Oof. Evidently, I didn't. I shouldn't have. I should have. I knew I should have. I should have. I should have scooted the fire around it, but instead I sat it on the fire. Oh, dang. All right. Oh, you ready to eat? Yep. All right. Let's move that camera over here so we can try. All right. We're about ready. Yeah, yeah we are. Let me scoot this over a little bit. Here, can I eat with your multi-tool? No. <laughs> Alright, now is this hot? It's warm. Mm-mm. Let's, uh, let's carry this over there to the front of the camera. Because <laughs> I want to... I want them to see me pouring this yummy goodness all over it. Now, this is supposed to be a solid cornbread. Oh, yeah. Yummy golden goodness. All right, tail down there. Grab my spoon right there. Right. Or did you want this one? I don't know. Mm. I'll go cornbread first. All right. What do you think? That's definitely good syrup. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Ugh. It's almost more like honey than actual syrup. Well, it's got honey, molasses, sugar cane, and corn syrup. That would explain it. Mmm. So you can really taste the honey then. Oh, man. Smokes in my eyes. <laughs> Let me come over to the camera. Woo! Oh man, that is so good. Yeah, eggs came out good. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. All right. We still got plenty of fire. We can cook more. The yolk kind of uh, made an egg patty on the pan. Oh, did it? Yeah. All right. Now look at this. See that gooey syrup? Nice and shiny. Mmm, 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 mmm. What do you think, Nick? I think it's great. I love it. That's fantastic. I'm gonna try the eggs. Hey, the eggs have got a little bit of syrup on them. Oh, yeah. I got a puddle over here. I'm gonna. Mmm, man. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's even good on the eggs. Mmm. Hey, it's so good, Nick. Mm -hmm. I gotta show that again. And no, they're not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. <laughs> but we think it's good. We think it's good. Well, we like it. <clears throat> Thanks to the commenter that reminded me of it, because I, I had forgotten about it. Alright, now let's take a peek over here. A, a little meal. Hey, an unbusted joke. All right. I know you like the unbusted ones. I think. Well, no, I think oh. it just I think it just rounded. I oh, just man. dump mine everywhere. I might have milk all over everything. So you spill cornbread mix, milk, <laughs> and uh, you got eggshells, a couple 
places. I remember a long time ago. I remember a long time ago when I was making pancakes out here. I got pancakes all over a brand new machete. <laughs> That is such good syrup. Put a little more on this one. I think the syrup got a little bit cold because the fire died down. Mm -hmm. I got milk everywhere. Milk does the body good. Oh, and so do eggs, and so do syrup, and so do carbohydrates and sugars. Mm -hmm. mm. Plenty of sugars. Mm -hmm. He said it was a good day off. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Nick. Anything exciting you want to say? Uh, kind of wonder about Connecticut sausage with the syrup. How about that? People. One? Oh yeah. People suggested maple syrup on the Koneka sausage, so maybe the Golden Eagle on it would be good. I don't see that burning as, I don't see that burning like the brown sugar did. It was brown sugar, right? Yeah. Oh, they also said mix brown sugar with the bacon. I mean with butter and make a slurry out of it. Well, this is absolutely delicious. If, uh, if you can find the famous Dave's Cornbread, buy some. If you can buy the Golden Eagle syrup in your area, absolutely buy some. It is just delicious it because it's a mix. Yeah. Famous Dave's Cornbread Mix. First time I ever tried it and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And obviously, my pan idea works because I didn't have to have a fire on top and it got cooked. Bottom got burnt, but who cares? And we're not going to eat that whole ring anyway. It's a lot of cornbread. Yeah, it's only cornbread. Not unless we <clears throat> host a massive camp out. <laughs> All right, we're done. Anything you want to add? No, other than this breakfast actually turned out really well. <clears throat> this is a life. Get out, cook, eat, hike, camp, anytime you can. That is so good. Only thing to be better is coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we shall see you in the next one. See you later.